He'll hide his the lone man in the backfield behind Clarkson. Second and eight at the 42. Clarkson dropping the pass, stepping up. He's going long for Bailey. Far sideline, overthrows him incomplete. Excellent coverage over there from Kevin Baird, and Clarkson just had to unload it. So Steve's first pass of the second half is incomplete after a 13 for 17 performance in the first half of play. Chris Sutton coming on now. It appears to replace. Well, I started to say Bailey, but uh, yeah, now Stacy's coming out. So the Spartans will stay with three wide receivers. Card secondary, Kevin Baird is the left corner. The right corner, Mike Taylor, and the safeties are Vaughn Williams and Steve Lemon. It is third and eight for San Jose now, the 43 of the cards. Again, triple wing left. Gears, Fernandez, and Sutton wide left. Clarkson takes a snap, rolling around the right side to the 40, but stopped well short of the first down of the 38. Trying to come around the left side, and Doug Rogers, left side tackle, made the tackle on him, and Spartans stopped at the... 38 of the cards, and Berg is going to come on here in punt formation. Would be about a 56-yard effort or so, but with the wind in his back, thought they might take a shot at it. Instead, he'll punt. Nelson, single safety, standing at the 10. Jim Dennis over the football. Low snap. Berg feels it nicely. Kicking for the near corner of the end zone, and let's see. It'll be into the end zone. Delgado touches it, but he's a couple of yards into that end zone, and so San Jose State won't get much on that punt. They'll net 18 yards at it, and the Cars get a first and 10 of their 20. That last play from scrimmage was, uh, I don't know, it, it was a surprise. Clarkson came back to the sidelines, kind of holding his hands up as if, what went wrong? I, I don't think he called that play the way it went off. It looked like a busted play all the way. Definitely didn't look right. The motion was the left, and he sort of a bootleg action, but it yeah. was not well developed. He was too late to have a chance at it. All right, John Elway is on with the Cardinal offense. Moore and Nelson behind him in high formation. Pitch to Darren Nelson, sweeping the right side. Cuts in, Alexander hits him high, but he breaks through and gets up to the 26 or 27-yard line. Nelson running hard. Steve McEnroe finally brought him down. Darren had only six yards and six carries in that first half, and he's exceeded that here, I believe. Seven-yard gain at second and three. Nelson has had, uh, has had some record against... Uh, San Jose State last year he didn't, but his career high game came against the Spartans. He had 211 yards in 1977. Mike Tolliver is wide to the left side with Don Lonsinger split right. Hand off to Moore, the fullback, tripped up and close to the first down of the 30 when he finally goes down. Dave Dole knocked him off his feet, but it appears that Moore has the first down. Moore had an excellent first half, 51 yards and nine carries, including the 24-yard touchdown run. He picks up a first down here, Cardinals fifth of the day by rushing. Stanford's offensive line, John McCauley is the center, Chris Rose and Mike Tevis are the guards, Matt Moran and Jim Dykstra are the tackles. The tight end is Chris Dressel. Tolliver going wide right, Lonsinger split left. High formation again, Nelson behind Moore. Quick count, pitch to Nelson, slipping the right side, breaks through a little hole and then runs until Keeve stops him at the 36. Nelson going for about six more there, to Fooley and Lane helping Keeve bring him down. And so the cards trying to establish a running game here. I think they were not able to do in that first half. Jesse Green on a nose guard now replacing Dave Dole. The Spartan tackles are Larry Alexander and Steve McEnroe. Parisi and Curlin saw a lot of action in that first half. Bob Overly and Eric Lane are the ends. The linebackers are Cheyenne Tufuli and Damon Keeve. Second and about four for the Cardinals now. Moore and... Nelson are the setbacks. Elway to pass. Has time. Going over the middle for Nelson. Incomplete. It's short opted to Darren as Elway underthrew that one. And poor throw for John. He had plenty of time and just threw it short of Darren Nelson. And it'll be third and four now. Spartan secondary. Gil Bird and Ken Daniel are the corners. The safeties are Ken Thomas and Glenn McLaren. So it is third and four now. The Spartans are always three for ten in his third down attempts. He sends Tolliver wide left, Lonziger's flank right. Third and four for the Cardinals. Ball at their own 36. Elway, quick drop back. Looks right. Now he's going to run. Alexander hits him, and he stopped at the 37, well short of the first down. McEnroe bringing him down after his hit by Larry Alexander. And the Cards will have to kick for the sixth time this afternoon. Uh, 
Outstanding defense all day long by by San Jose State. They've really been playing tough. We're three minutes and 49 seconds into the third quarter. San Jose State continuing to lead 14-6 as Greg Top is ready for his sixth punch and kick from the 25. Here standing at his 20. This one is short. Twisting McLaren wants a fair catch and makes the fair catch at his 35-yard line. So the Spartans get it in pretty good shape. It'll be either the 35 or the 36 where they take over. 28-yard punt. He is having a tough day as Greg Top. Steve Clarkson and the offense come on. Steve is 13 of 18. He's 0 for 1 in the second half. He sends Bailey, Kears, and Fernandez wide left. Triple wing left. They've used that formation exclusively this half. And Will Hyde in motion to the right now. Clarkson dropping back. Here's the rush. Shows for France. Makes the catch of the 50. Loses the ball and it's ruled incomplete. Had it and dropped it and... Close call for the officials there. Boy, Tracy really got hit hard, and he's shaken up, it appears. Tracy down, and Barnes can ill afford to lose him. He's having a big season. Steve Lemon really delivered a crunching blow to France to uh, strip him of the ball. Of course, that's one of the toughest, toughest plays in, in the game for either a wide receiver or a tight end in this case. Looking back over your shoulder, you're at the mercy of that, of that defensive back. In this case, the free safety Steve Lemon, who, as you said, just hit him with a crunching tackle. And uh, he not only dropped the ball, but now he's dropped as well. Lemon absorbed quite a bit of punishment, too. He came off, and Pete Sam Jam is in to replace him at free safety. Friends still getting attention from Charlie Miller and the Spartans training staff out there. Tracy has a touchdown catch today. He's only caught three balls this season, but well been big catches, and maybe just had the wind knocked out of him. He seems to be running off well. Second and ten now. Lemon appears to... Having a little work done in his neck there. And let's see now. It'll be Bill Nicholas on a tight end for San Jose State. 6'4", junior transfer. Slot to the left here. Kearson the slot. Second and 10 for San Jose. Clarkson back to pass. Here's a rush by Hall. He steps up and throws for Sutton, who slipped and fell. Little collision over there with Baird. But it's just incomplete and brings up third and 10. Summers broke through on the right side along with Hall and Clarkson had to hurry that throw. So the cards now bringing a nickel back. Daryl Grissom coming on. Third and ten. Spartans in a passing situation. George Bullhan is on a left guard replacing Mama Nico. Slot left again. Kier slotted inside Bailey with uh, Fernandez wide right. Clarkson back to pass. Here's the rush. He has to unload. Kears makes the catch of the 40. First down of the 45, driving to the 50 Ooh. and into Stanford territory. Oh, what a catch. He had to reach back and one hand it. Then made a very quick cut to get the first down yardage and goes to the Stanford 49. Fifth catch of the day for Tim Kears. And a one-handed job. What a, just a pretty, pretty catch. That's seven out of 11 on third down conversions for the Spartans. 16-yard gain, takes it to the 49 of the cards. Franz is back in after missing just one play. Now Thornburg's in at fullback with Will Hyde in the backfield. Handoff to the second man, Will Hyde hit off left tackle and gets about three to the 46 before the cards can close on him. Tackle made by Tom Hall, outside linebacker. Will Hyde now, 61 yards and 14 carries. And Gerald also has, what, five receptions today? for 35 yards. Darren Nelson has just 19 yards and eight carries. And receiving, Darren has been shut out so far. Triple wing left. Pierce, Fernandez, and Bailey all out wide to the left side. Clarkson pitching to Willite. Sweeping right side, Hooper leading the blocking. Two defenders are there. Max can only get one, and Willite gains about six to the 40. Max Hooper, you don't... See too many tackles get outside that quickly, but continues to do a good job at it. Max dropped, what, about 15 pounds to get down to 256 this year, Bob, and he's really been leading the interference well around the ends. He's doing very well. Don Stubblefield making the, uh, the stop there. Mamo Nico came out a moment ago with Bowen replacing him at guard. Nico's getting his left ankle taped up, so he seems to have turned it. All right, it's third and a yard for San Jose. At the 40 of Stanford. Hand off to Will Height. Dives into the left side of the line. And from the indication, 
where the uh, pile seems to have ended. He would have the first down. I don't see Gerald specifically in there seven or eight bodies, but if he's at the bottom of the mass of humanity there. That's first down yardage. Bohan and Severance with good blocks on the left side that time. Now, I don't know. We got players shaking up. Yeah. Juan Williams is down and walking up very slowly for the cards. Is who? That is uh, Dave Morsey. Right before, uh, right before we noticed him, the uh, the referee signaled the first down for well, San Jose This State. is the hardest hitting game between San Jose and Stanford I can recall. Cards known like San Jose State usually with the great skilled players and not the most physical of teams, but it has really been a battle out there today. Well, you could tell right from the beginning of this game that San Jose State was here to play and play hard this year. They knew that had they not made mistakes in the first half last year, they might have won the ball game. Bill James is on the left tackle now. New left side of the line for San Jose State. Here's Clarkson on the keeper. Pitches it back to Thornburg. Breaks the tackle and gets to the 36. Thornburg got about three yards on his own there. As that was the option, Clarkson kept it and tossed it back to Thornburg. For Ron, that's his first carry of the day for three yards. Thornburg, nine carries coming into the game, averaging six yards per carry. Nine minutes left in the third period. San Jose State leading 14-6. They led it early 14-0. Midway through the second period when they score their second touchdown. The lead is 14-6 now. As they have a second and about eight. They marked it at the 37. Clarks in the pass. Here's the rush. Showing over the middle for Will Height. Has it to the 30. 25 down to the 20-yard line. Will Height sixth catch of the day. Clarkson right there with it in the face of the rush. And the Spartans have it first and 10 at the 20. And Clarkson beating the rush there. The rush from the inside backers is 15 for 22. Clarkson just split the scene that time and just an outstanding pass. Pass again and a good reception by Will Height. Gerald gets a breather here and he deserves one. As we said, that's a six catch. He's 60, 70 yards on the ground as well. Slot left. Keir slotted inside Sutton and Fernandez wide right. First and 10 of the 20. Clarkson rolling right. Steps up, throws. It's batted and incomplete. I was tipped into the air by Craig Zelmer and stayed relatively close to Craig. I thought he might have a shot at it, but it fell away from him, incomplete, and it's second and 10 at the 20 of the cards. Craig Zelmer just coming back in this ball game for Stanford. He's been out with a viral infection. He was a very big factor in last year's game against the Spartans. Cards pass rush is improving as this game progresses. Will Hyde is back on. He and Smaller in the backfield. Clarkson sending for Anna's wide right, Keir split left. And off to Willite, right tackle. Ooh, he gets hit with a jarring tackle, hit by Lemon and also Zelmer. And Gerald doesn't get much. Give him the 13-yard line, or the 18-yard uh, line. It's going to be third and eight. Steve Lemon is playing some ball game. He is really doing a fine job out there today. We mentioned Dan Severance coming out in favor of Bill James. Severance has a Charlie horse in the left leg, so he'll be down for at least a while. Bohan remains in at left guard for Nico as an ankle in the process of being taped up. Clarkson doesn't like what he sees and asks for a timeout. Timeout for San Jose State with 7.39 remaining in the third period. Scoreboard showing San Jose State 14, Stanford 6. Good neighbor, good neighbor. Good Neighbor Pharmacy has great news for every man whose legs get tired and fatigued from walking or standing. Bauer and Black Mild Compression Support Hose gives your legs the holding support you want. Made with a special blend of stretch nylon and spandex, Bauer and Black Mild Compression Support Hose gives soothing support all the way up to and over the calf. And stay up without garters so you look neat and well-groomed. And ladies, do something nice for the man in your life. Pick up a pair for him now. Bauer and Black Support Hose help a man feel better all over. Bauer and Black Support Hose, available at your Good Neighbor Pharmacy. A good neighbor with your interests in mind. Professional pharmacists who provide friendly, reliable assistance with your prescription and health care needs. Two of your Good Neighbor Pharmacies are 10th Street Pharmacy, 448 East Santa Clara Street, San Jose, and Valiente Plaza Pharmacy, 6942 Amadon Expressway, San Jose. San Jose State has just used its first time out as Steve Clarkson looks at a third and eight situation here at the Stanford 18 yard line. 7.39 remaining in the third quarter. Clarkson back in the huddle now. 
He sends Fernandez wide to the left. Thornburg will be in the backfield with Wilhite, and Kearse is wide to the right. Third and eight here. Cards bunching in. Back to pass. Clarkson gets rid of it in a hurry. It's going to be intercepted back at the 14-yard line by Jay Summers. Or was it Morsey? Morsey. There was a marker down at the start of the play. It looked like a mix-up in the offensive line, so the Cards will take the football. And that is just a terrible turnover if it stands because the Spartans were in easy field goal range. And Clarkson has had a near flawless game today but makes a bad mistake there with his first interception. That's the case where he should have eaten the ball. Don Stubblefield, the left inside linebacker, was all over him. He never should have passed it at that point, but he did. It was picked off by Stanford. And now the Spartans blow a chance for a third touchdown or, like you say, at least a field goal. So I said, Steven had virtually an error-free performance, but again, with that easy a field goal staring in the face, you can't make that mistake. Cards have it now, trailing 14-6. They get it at their 14-yard line. Pitch to Darren Nelson, sweeping the right side. Not much room. He tries to cut back over. He hits him, but he gets away. Trying to turn the corner, being chased by Ken Daniel at the 25. Bounced out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Ken Thomas finally knocking him out as Nelson had nowhere to go. Ran into Overly, bounced off, and then turned it back to the left side. Daniel couldn't get to him, and Thomas finally drives him out of bounds, maybe across, now put it at the 32. So Nelson turns nothing into a gain of 18 yards. And now he goes out of the ball game, and Vincent White comes in to take his place, and you don't get much of a come down when you go to Vinny White. Spartans know all about that. Why he went for a 57-yard touchdown run against him last year. First and 10 for the Cards. Elway to Moore. Hit by McEnroe and dropped at the 31 for a loss. Overly helping out. McEnroe with great penetration from his right tackle spot at the start of the play. That'll make it second and 11. And the Spartans will go to their sixth defensive back alignment with Woodburn replacing Tafuli. Tolliver goes wide right. Lonzinger is split left. Elway looking at a second and 11 from his 31. John, three for 11 today. Changing the play at the line. Back to pass he goes. Has time. Looking, throwing over the middle. Intercepted by Thomas. 10 to the 40. 35 to 30. At the 20. At the 15. At the 10. And he's bounced out of the 8. Ken Thomas. Cut in front of Lonsinger and took it away at the 40 and runs it down to the 8-yard line. The Spartans get a turnover for the first time today, and they have it first and goal at the 8. For Ken Thomas, his first interception of the year and the 8th of his career. And Brian Hawkins, the strong safety, threw a fine block there to spring in for another 5 yards. And so the Spartans bring it right back. It looked as though after they were picked off, and Darren Nelson ran that ball around the left side, but they were in trouble, but they're coming right back. Give Thomas a 33-yard return from the 41 to the 8. Triple wing left. Kearse, Fernandez, and Bailey wide left. Will like the setback. First and goal for San Jose at the Stanford 8. Clarkson has a will eye. Not much room at all. Gets maybe a yard at best at left tackle. Jay Summers and John Bergen were there to get him. So a quick exchange of turnovers here. The Spartans... Had a drive stopped by an interception, but Thomas intercepts and runs it back to the eight. It's a second and goal from the seven now. 6-10 to play third quarter. 14-6 Spartans lead it. Triple wing left with Sutton, Fernandez, and Kearse wide left. Brands a tight end on the right side. Will Light behind Clarkson. Second and goal. Steve to pass. Sewing into the end zone. Caught by Kearse. It is a touchdown for San Jose State. Tim Kearse with his sixth catch of the day. Clarkson's second touchdown strike, and the Spartans lead it by a score of 20 to 6. And what an acrobatic catch it was. He was looking for the pass to come to his other side. He completely turned around, reached out with his left hand, pulled it in, and fell into the end zone. So the Spartans capitalize on the interception. Take it on the second play. They lead it by 14 as Berg is on for the conversion attempt. Sutton to hold. 20 to 6 is the lead. Jim Dennis ready for the snap. Kick is up. The kick is good. We have a timeout with 5 minutes 53 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Scoreboard showing San Jose State 21, Stanford 6. Miss 
buds for you. Mike Berg ready to kick off. Martin's leading now 21 to 6. Just under six minutes left in this third quarter. Mike Dodder, the deep man for Stanford, with Mullins and St. Jim standing at the 10. Dodder's on his goal line. Berg, who has just added his third conversion, is ready to kick off. Here he comes. I end over end and deep. Daughter is seven yards deep, eight yards deep. Makes the catch and touches it right down. So with the San Jose State contingent leading the cheering, a crowd of about 70,000 looking in and in on what appears at this time to be an upset in the making as the Spartans came into the game 20-point underdogs and they lead it by 15. However, with that strong right arm of John Elway <laughs> and Darren Nelson, that hardly seems a insurmountable eight. Cars running in a shotgun now, and they're using a triple wing ride, a San Jose State formation, which a lot of schools picked up last year. Elway takes a snap. John looking, has plenty of time. Now gets rushed. Hit as he throws, tipped, intercepted by Overly. Overly at the 25 and tackle at the 23. The San Jose State fans below us go wild as Overly picks off the interception after Dole broke in at the last minute to force Elway to hurry the throw. It was deflected. You can't fault John for the throw, and the Spartans get another turnover, their second consecutive interception on Elway, and they have a chance to really open up some daylight now at the 23 of the cards. Spartans break out of the huddle. Here's goes wide left. Fernandez flank, they're slotted left. Thornburg and Willite in the backfield. Hand off to Gerald Willite, sweeping the right side. Cuts into the 20, goes to the 15-yard line, down to the 14. So Willite picks up about nine yards. Now there's a marker back at the line of scrimmage. Let's see what it is. Spartans have really had trouble with penalties today. 70 yards in the first half. And this one will be an illegal black and wipe out Willite's nine-yard gain, it would appear. Eighth penalty of the afternoon. You know, when you consider all the penalties, it's, it's remarkable that they've been able to do what they have today. They have overcome all those penalties to be leading not only 21 to six, but uh, certainly threatening once again. So it is first down and 15 from the 27 of the cards. Again, slot left with Fernandez slotted inside Kears. Smalley is in at fullback along with Wilhite behind Clarkson. Steve hands it to Wilhite again. Off right tackle, gets hit and goes down to the 23. Gets three or four yards, or four or five it would appear. Doug Rogers and Garen Veris making the hit there. So give Wilhite about four to the 23. And it's second and 11. Severance is back in at left tackle after his Charlie horse. And Bohan remains in at left guard for Nico, who had an ankle problem. Slot left. Pierce slotted inside Bailey with Fernandez wide right. Will Hyde alone in the backfield. Clarkson dropping the pass. Going over the middle for Will Hyde. Has it at the 20 and tackle right there. Borsey pursuing, makes the tackle on Will Hyde. That's a gain of about three and brings up third down and seven so the Spartans trying to capitalize on their second consecutive interception have a big third and seven here at the cards 20 Sutton in replacing Stacey Bailey 
So far, they've been very effective on third downs today. Seven of 11, I believe, is the figure we had. Eight of 13 now, well, still very good. This is a long huddle, now they break out of it. Fernandez wide left, and the Spartans aren't ready. They will spend the time out, it appears. Time out for San Jose State with 4-11 remaining in the third period. Scoreboard showing. San Jose State 21, Sanford 6. Announcing television's newest news, the 730 News. You can watch it happen on 36. Now, you've got television news at the right time. Watch the 730 News on KICU TV 36. The 730 News with anchors Jan Hutchins and Isabel Duran. Sports with John Schrader and Steve Dini with the weather. You can watch it happen on 36. I'm Jan Hutchins. And I'm Isabel Duran. At 7.30, you haven't missed the news. It's just beginning on TV 36. All the news, and it's on at the right time. It's about time. Watch television's newest news, the 7.30 News with Jan Hutchins and Isabel Duran. Weeknights at 7.30 on KICU TV 36. KICU TV 36. San Jose State has just used its second time out. They have a third and seven at the Stanford 20 now. Triple wing left. Pierce, Fernandez, Sutton wide left. Clarkson on the inside reverse to Pierce. He's at the 20. Pierce at the 15. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown for San Jose State. Pierce on the inside reverse. Goes in from 20 yards out, and the Spartans build the lead at 27 to 6. The only man that really had a shot at him was the right corner, Mike Taylor, and Kears just flat out ran him to get into the end zone, and what a day Kears is having. Another great block by Tracy Franz. Tim Kears, six receptions, and that is his second carry of the day now. 55 yards, this one 20 for the TD. 27 6, the Spartans lead it. Berg ready for the conversion now. Sutton to hold. Good snap. Kick is up. And the kick is good. We have a timeout with four minutes, four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Scoreboard showing San Jose State 28, Stanford 6. dynamic Santa Clara Valley. Call 244-1700 for your nearest office and make your move today. Pacific Valley Bank, member FDIC. Berg ready to kick off. Daughter is deep. The St. Jim and Mullins up at the 10. 28 to 6 is Spartans lead. Berg coming forward now. Deep again. Daughter is 8 yards back, 9 yards back, 10 yards back, touching it down as he crosses the end line. So the Spartans... Uh, the defensive unit back out on the field. They played brilliantly here for 41 minutes. They've got 19 to go, Bob. I think it's going to be very hard to take this ball game away from them, Hal, the way they've played today, on both on offense and defense. They are certainly fired up, and uh, Stanford's got to show a lot more than they have so far. John Elway is 3 for 13 with two interceptions. That is a story in itself. Spartans have to be looking for the pass now. 